how's it going? It's all the news, all the time. And uh, we're looking at a story today about the new film that Johnny Depp's going to be starring in this summer, which will be out 2023. And uh, it's called La Favourite, which I shall translate from the French for you. Uh, the Favourite. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Um, so Netflix has acquired the new Johnny Depp film, La Favourite, where he'll portray King Louis the Fifteenth. This marks Depp's return to the big screen in his first role since the defamation trial. This is a nice picture from his Instagram page where he was, uh, I think he was in Copenhagen on a boat. He was having a nice little time. Um, so it's saying Netflix has acquired the right to stream the new Johnny Depp film, La Favourite, according to a recent report by Bloomberg. Uh, the French movie is set to start filming in France this summer and Netflix now has the streaming rights to the film 15 months after its theatrical release. This is going to make it actually quite difficult for um, most people to go and see the film. For the first 15 months, it's going to be released to French cinemas only. So you can only go and see it if you're in France during those 15 months. So for the rest of the world who aren't anywhere near France, it's not going to be possible. And then what happens after that? Well, Netflix are going to stream it in France. So it's not going to be shown anywhere outside of France. You either go to the cinema or you watch it on streaming in France. So um, it's going to be difficult. I think the only way I could work out was to get one of these uh, VPNs and geolocate VPN thing and put yourself in Paris and try and stream it that way. I'm not sure how successful that's going to be, though. So, uh, yeah, we'll work on that. This project marks Depp's return to the big screen in his first role since winning the defamation trial against ex-wife. There she is. Depp, uh, 59, has previously said on multiple occasions that he feels betrayed by Hollywood studios. Uh huh. Yes, indeed. And is reaffirming that stance with his latest project. In the movie, Depp will portray King Louis XV, predecessor to the Louis XVI reign that led to the French Revolution. This news comes from uh, Benoit Berthelot. Um, and this is on his Twitter page. He's saying, Scoop, Netflix is set to co-finance Johnny Depp's next film, La Favourite, a bet on the actor's first feature role following his defamation trial against that woman. Um, see, as it's saying down here, it's directed by Mai Wen Labresco. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that properly. Will be released to French audiences in theatres sometime during 2023. So unless you're going to get on a plane to Paris, it's going to be difficult. Labresco will also play Madame du Barry. See, that must be difficult as well, being a director and an actor, so you direct yourself acting. That must be quite something to do. So she's the infamous mistress of King Louis XV. The film is set to be Depp's big comeback, um, who hasn't, because uh, he hasn't been in a film since 2020. It'll be Depp's first full film in French, a language with which he is uh, wholly acquainted when he lived in France with Vanessa Paradis. Um, was it Paradis? I don't know. Uh, Netflix vowed to invest 40.7 million in French movies in 2022, starting with a new Depp film. So, this is uh, an article from IMDb, and they're saying Johnny Depp's next film is not financed by Netflix, but will stream on Netflix in France. It's sort of semantics, like what is financing and what isn't financing. They are giving the money. For the streaming rights after its theatrical release and they are the film makers are using the money given to make the film so is that not financing i don't know so johnny depp's return to acting following his defamation trial is not being backed by netflix sort of bloomberg reported that the depp starring french movie is receiving financial backing from netflix but a source close to the streaming giant told variety this is not true. Netflix is not financing the movie, but has licensed the film to stream in France, only after it completes the country's 15-month theatrical window. Yeah, but they are financing it. It says Netflix is not financing the movie, but has licensed the film, but they have to pay for the license. So it's a bit of a misnomer, or a bit sort of counterintuitive, to say you're not financing, but you're actually paying for it to be made, and very strange. Uh, Le Favourite is set to star Depp as the French King, Monroy, uh, my king, 
And filmmaker Mai Wen is directing the movie, which Variety reported earlier this year is filming this summer for three months at locations that include Versailles Palace. Mai Wen is also st- starring in the movie, sorry, as Jeanne de Barry. Uh, a lot of the comments saying were t- telling me that I can't pronounce the word Jeanne de Barry, and they were probably right. So we've got Jeanne de Barry, a countess who was Louis the Fifteenth's last mistress. And she played the diva in the uh, film The Fifth Element. I keep thinking the word multipath. Happy to find a girl, so there's no problem. So yeah, yeah, very happy. And two days before uh, the the preparation of the of her costume, you know, she was supposed to come in London to do the costume, the the test for the makeup, everything. She disappeared. No news from her, for, for him, from her agent, nothing. And we, was on, we were on weekend, and he was so stressed on the phone. Where is she? And I told him, oh, come on. Anyway, if she doesn't well, show up. Interesting woman. The company dealing with it is, uh, or the production company, is the Wild Bunch International, and they are a very big company in France. This is the films they've produced just this year, 2022. So they are a big, um, very competent and legitimate company with a lot of, this is 2021, they make a lot of films. Um, So yeah, very good. Uh, And another report from IMDB, which is speaking about earlier, this was back in May, and This was saying that Johnny Depp's new movie will be on sale in the Cannes film market. Um, And then it got picked up by Netflix for the streaming rights. So Jean, uh, Johnny Depp's, I'm still thinking in French then, Johnny Depp, uh, new film Jeanne de Barry, will be launched for pre-sales at this month's Cannes market, making a first narrative feature for the actor in more than three years. So from that, it seems Netflix picked it up for the streaming rights. This is the uh, other production company, which is the Wild Bunch. This is their uh, homepage. And it's the page relating to Jeanne de Barry itself. Not a lot of information here. She is a, a young working class woman, hungry for culture and pleasure, uses her intelligence and allure to climb the rungs of the social ladder one by one. She becomes the favorite of King Louis XV, who unaware of her status as courtesan, regains through her his appetite for life yeah, I bet he does they fall madly in love against all proprietary propriety and etiquette Jeanne moves to Versailles where her rival scandalises the court dun, dun, dun. and um, yeah, that's, I think that's all we got for you on that story so if you'd like to uh, like and subscribe that would be really useful I mean I was thinking why do YouTubers always say like and subscribe on videos well there's two main reasons uh, to monetize a YouTube channel you need two things you need 1,000 subscribers and you need 4,000 hours of watch time so that's the main goal once you get those two metrics then you can start to earn money from a share of the ad revenue that uh, YouTube uh, places on your videos and once you have that revenue coming in then you can start to make more videos and you can start to focus completely just on Uh, making videos rather than having to do anything else. So that's why people ask um, to like and subscribe. Although there is an argument now to move away from subscribers and to ask people to watch more videos because its engagement with videos is more important than actually subscriber numbers in terms of algorithm and channel growth. So working along those principles, would you be very kind and like and subscribe and watch another video of this channel? That would be really great because then I can grow as a channel and we can make more videos and everything will be great. So on that note, thank you very much for your time. It's always a pleasure and I will see you guys later.